In this video, we are going to look in more detail about how food is digested in the digestive system. The process of digestion is sped up by enzymes. And in this video, we're going to look at the main groups of enzymes, what they are and how they work. Enzymes are proteins. They are used to break up long molecules into short molecules. Enzymes speed up digestion, but are not used up. They are therefore called biological catalysts. Enzymes are a specific shape to fit a specific molecule, like a lock and key, and they will break up the long molecules into shorter ones. There are three main groups of enzymes, carbohydrates, protease and lipase. Carbohydrates breaks down carbohydrates into sugar. Amylase is a carbohydrate that breaks down starch into sugar. So carbohydrates are long molecules and the carbohydrates is the enzyme that will break that down into sugar. Protease breaks down proteins into amino acids. So the protease will bind to the protein and break down the long chain into smaller amino acids. Lipase breaks down lipids into fatty acids and glycerol. So the lipase will bind and break down the large molecule into the smaller fatty acids and glycerol molecules. We'll now look at where in the digestive system the different groups of enzymes work. Carbohydrate is produced in the salivary glands and works in the mouth. Protease is produced and works in the stomach. In the small intestine, the nutrients are absorbed into the blood. Hence, lots of enzymes work here. All three of the groups of enzymes are produced and work in the small intestine. Carbohydrates, protease and lipase are produced and work in the small intestine. Although the food does not travel through the pancreas, the pancreas also produces all three enzymes. However, they do not work in the pancreas. They are transported to other organs where they will actually work to break down the longer molecules. Different enzymes work best in different conditions. For example, in the stomach, enzymes in the stomach work best in acidic conditions. And in the small intestine, enzymes in the small intestine work best in alkaline conditions. So to help keep these conditions and to help the enzymes work best, bile is a substance that is produced in the liver and stored in the gallbladder. Bile is squirted into the top of the small intestine to neutralise the acid that is coating the food that comes from the stomach. So because the enzymes in the small intestine prefer alkaline conditions, you don't want the food taking lots of acid with it into the small intestine. Bacteria is also involved in digestion. There are bacteria in your large intestine. They live off the fibre in the foods that you eat and they produce important vitamins that are absorbed back into your body. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video, then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at gccrevisionmonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at sciencesurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos, as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.